So I've had this movement on the time grapher all week. It's performing just fine. So I'm going to put it together and put this in the case. Um, let's see. I put a smear of oil on that cannon pinion. A uh, little bit of D5, I believe I did. And this is the, uh, the hour wheel, I think it's called. Hey, I'm in the shot. Go figure. And you can see it's got that little wave washer on there. Uh, I have this, the uh, mainspring let down because we're going to do some hand setting on this. But first I want to I want to get the dial placed. I usually run these screws in or take them out completely so I don't lose them. These are uh, for the mounting feet. Mounting posts on the dial. Come on, I know, I'm working with this camera microscope in the way. It can be quite tedious, but <clears throat> eventually we get to it. Uh, as you notice, I have a blue uh, glove on my hand for fingerprint avoidance. So here's our dial. Hopefully I loosened those screws enough that it falls in. Double checking. And it did. So I just gently pick it up, avoiding the... Uh, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank on everything. I'm avoiding the balance and the hairspring by doing that. And we're going to run this screw in for one post. And here's our second screw. Focus. There we go. And I'm going to do things a little out of the ordinary today. And I hope it doesn't create any problems. And it has to do with setting the second hand. I've done it before and haven't had any problems. So I hope I don't have any problems today. So here's, here's the dial set. Back into its movement. Holder. <clears throat> Sorry, still dealing with a cough. So that looks pretty good. That's nice. Um, if I'm a little slow today, well, it happens. Give that a quick dusting. And I bring it over. Let's zoom out here. Here is my hand setter. Right there. It's just a plunger on a base and I can set the hand on there. These are fairly cheap, 14 bucks, 15 bucks on Amazon. This is a three position. You can buy single position, but then you got to change the, the uh, little feet out, the little plunger feet each time. Spend an extra 10 bucks and you have it in three positions. If I have any lint or dust or fuzz anywhere, I will clean that up later. Doesn't take much to press these on. Just lean on it a little bit. There you go. And that should do it. I already have it set. And in fact, I do see some lint or fuzz or dust. I don't know what you call it. We have a little bit right there and a little bit right there. Give everything a blast with the rocket. Make sure it's clean. And th that's a constant when working on these. If you're not in a clean room, you're going to have to keep 
blasting things and cleaning and double checking. So there's our hour hen uh, lined up at six o'clock. Our minute hand is coming next, obviously. Hope I didn't have to explain that. I'm trying to pick it up right now, believe it or not. Okay, so we're going to pick it up and we're going to place that at 12. And I just lay it in there loosely because I'm going to turn this till I'm at the 12 o'clock position. Looks lined up, looks straight, and into the next position on our hand setter. And I just give that a little tiny nudge, just just barely seated. If you look closely, you can see it's not fully seated. However, it should be on there enough that it'll stay in position and I can check the alignment that it is lined up. Not unusual to do this two or three times to get everything lined up. If you're like me, you're probably a bit of a perfectionist, you want things lined up. That looks pretty good. There's a little bit of slop there, that's to be expected. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to come in here and lean on that just a bit to totally seat it. Doesn't take much. If you look closely you can see it's seated a little deeper. Now here's our next step. They don't interfere with each other. Very critical. Having that curve on the minute hand is nice because it reaches over the hour hand. So we can we can verify that's working pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I like to set this to midnight and eye it up just to make sure everything is lined up. But if you notice, it is off quite a bit. Uh, let's get a better shot. If you look closely, lining up the minute hand to midnight or to 12, the hour hand is off. So I, and we can see how far off it is, we are off by four minutes. I would not be happy with that. I would say no. <clears throat> I am not happy with that. We're going to change it, which takes a little bit of time. put a dial protector on it and pop it off. There it is. Now, I had that set up at 6 o'clock. This time we'll set it up at 12 o'clock. Maybe that is what we needed to do in the first place. So there's our hour hand at 12 Sometimes I can get these on the first try other times not so much So this may have been an easier way to do this. I don't know um, Let's focus that that looks pretty good. We're going to come in, give it a little nudge, just enough to get it started. And should be in focus here. Come around to midnight or 12, whatever you want to call it. 
the hands are parallel. I'm happy with that. Let's leave it. I don't like these being off by a minute or two, let alone four. Let's focus here. Then I come in, the minute hand setter, and lean on it. So I'm happy with that. Get the blower out. Next is the second hand. And what I'm going to do differently, only because I haven't come up with a better way to do this, and this all has to do with that spring on the bottom to prevent the second hand from stuttering. I lay this in like so. And you can see that springy. I'm, I'm, I'm actually pushing against that second hand pinion spring. And we lay the the movement right in here and I, I just press on this a little bit and that should should hold the um, I'm going to turn this a bit that should hold the be enough pressure to hold that second hand on so when I turn this over uh, the second hand doesn't fall off and what I'm doing I'm gently resting the movement down onto the second hand and then press it on the back side of that. Um, is, is this a preferred way to do things? I don't, I don't know. I haven't had any problems doing it that way. I don't know if that was in the shot, so here's what I did. And this is the third step. On the hand setter. Okay, coming back. That's the third step of the hand setter. Uh, other some people may poo poo that procedure. I get it. Poo poo it all you want. I've made it work. It's worked before. I don't worry about it. So it is what it is. Haven't had any problems. Coming in with blower. Before I case this up, it will get um, uh, a check over. So the last thing we do, check the alignment. Sometimes those hands pop up a little bit like that. I'm okay with that. That's not so bad. Uh, okay, doesn't interfere anywhere. So I am ready to case this up. I'm going to take the stem out. I'm actually going to do it on the next video. So if this doesn't run too long, we'll get it cased up and uh, Hopefully when it's back on the time grapher, it's still working and I didn't have another problem screwing this up, so stay tuned.